conservation of marine species in the UK quite often focuses its efforts on enigmatic species like the seahorse or the basking shark, and that's all really good stuff, but they quite often miss out commercial species. Our work focuses exclusively on commercial species. It focuses on the European lobster. It's a very high value species because it's very tasty. So there's a huge demand for it. Conservation always has a human benefit. And in our instance, it's because it's a food source. If you've got lots of small boats fishing out of a small harbour, and you can add a couple of lobsters to their catch each day, or a lobster to their catch, that actually has quite a big impact on the economic viability of that community as well. So they looked at the potential for, for adding lobsters into a fishery and they, they discovered that lobsters were surviving and they found that fishermen were recatching them so they were contributing to the fishermen's catch and they also looked at targeting specific areas to try and increase the abundance of lobsters locally. The hatcheries work is based on some really intensive work some really important research that was undertaken both in the United Kingdom and in Norway and has actually continued in countries like Germany and also in Canada at the moment. Increasingly we're seeing ourselves as an organisation that focuses on research and the research surrounding how we would repopulate a fishery should it collapse, should stop collapse, or how we can make an existing population, existing fishery more productive. And as demand increases for seafood globally, those things are going to become increasingly important. There's the other side of our research work which looks at how we can improve culture techniques, so how we can grow better lobsters to release into the fishery, how we can improve survival rates, how we can uh, look after the animals in a better way. We do engage ourselves an awful lot in the research, um, but we're also very well known as a charity for our work growing juvenile lobsters and releasing into the sea and uh, that's a major, major part and a major focus for the charity's efforts. Well, anybody working in conservation, anybody has got to have close collaboration with the stakeholders, so the people who are actually out there every day working in the field and we're no different to that really. We, we're, we're here to try and help the fishery to become more sustainable and as part of that process of course we're engaging every day with the fishing industry. It's absolutely critical. Most of our information comes from the, from the fishery itself. Um, so for example some of the genetic work we're working on at the moment, uh, our PhD student has been out on boats all summer. So that sort of work, that sort of research totally relies on working in, in close collaboration with the fishery. We're finding ourselves more and more uh, talking to people on the global level. And uh, just this year we've been, we've, we've been asked to join up as part of the European Lobster Centre of Excellence, which is a virtual centre um, of experts on, on the species, uh, people working in aquaculture, people working in research centres around Europe, and we're all joining together. The way I think of our work these days is that we're trying to provide a local solution to what's actually a global problem. I think that the lobster hatchery is a perfect example of how knowledge coupled with a food production and in our situation fishing actually joins together and is delivering expertise to help and influence and grow stocks of such a marvellous food such as lobster. I think things like the lobster hatchery are great initiatives for, and one of the main reasons is that it's the fishermen and the community and scientific organisations cooperating. And that's what you've got to have. You've got to have that cooperation if we're going to move forward. And I think it's that real celebration of local fishing boats, all the knowledge that the fishermen have, the knowledge that the scientific community can bring to that argument, developing a project that will benefit the fishermen in the long term. And it seems to me that everyone's embraced that with real enthusiasm and real drive. And I think it's a, a, a wonderful Thing. It's a wonderful testament to the fact that these disparate groups can work together very effectively.